fresh oil change. Nothing feels better than that. Eight quarts of that full synthetic. My oil change cost $500. Let me explain. Why, why did I pay that much for an oil change? I'll never get it, I don't know. What's up, Mooch Lavers, and welcome back. Hello, camera. And we are here in the garage, making noises. We're here in the garage. Camaro, getting ready to go on vacation. You're coming with us every year we go on a trip. I like to film our travel adventures. That's coming up soon. We did an oil change on the Camaro and something bad happened. It cost me $500. Let's get into that right here on Mooch Life. So we're in the garage and this is the bad thing that happened. The front splitter. I screwed it all up. Look at that. It's chipped to here. Messed up. Like so. This whole piece. So that's why my oil change cost me $500 because after I changed the oil, I took the jack stands out from underneath the car. I had to move the car because I had a little bit of a spill in the middle that I wanted to clean up. And uh, when I pulled the car forward, unfortunately, I hit one of my jack stands. I thought it was out of the way and it wasn't. So, leads us to our video today. ACS T4 splitter for the Camaro. We're gonna install that on the car today. I'm gonna show you how. And I'm gonna show you how to uninstall one too because there's already a broken one on it. ACScomposite.com acscomposite.com makes the t4 splitter for the camaro it's a satin black finish which i like on the fifth and a half gen got the side skirt splitters from them as well and it goes good because the rear bumper on the fifth and a half gen actually comes in a satin plastic look as well so it matches it was brought to my attention maybe it was time to upgrade to carbon fiber but I didn't think it would look right just doing one piece. I'd have to do a bunch of carbon fiber and that is not my budget right now. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our new T4 splitter and get a rocking and a rolling. I ordered this on the internet, not sponsored by them at all. And they sent this over to me in like, gosh, you got to my house in like three days from the day I ordered it. So awesome quick shipping on this product. Packaged nicely, all wrapped up, plastic, got some instructions, all the hardware. Time to replace it. Get it looking back to new. Oh yeah. Here's the jack stand. Drove the car up on two, two by four so I can fit my jack under there. Yeah, give me a little room to work. Let's get underneath here. I already took one out, but the old splitters got all these rivets. They're like a cheap metal. There's a bunch of them, like 20 all up along there. And all you gotta do is get your drill, get a drill bit. Let's see if I could do this while I'm filming. Well, I worked on the first one. What the Maybe I'm just not pushing hard enough. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> oh my God, I bursted right through that one. So you pop them all out and then it's hard to see here, but the tab of it actually sticking on the edge of my drill bit there. But the pin part will go back up in. And once I get them all out, then when I take it down, they'll all drop off onto the ground. Make sure you sweep it up real good so you don't run them over and get a leaky tire. But let me remove all these and we'll uh, continue. Yeah. 
Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running now, never heading south, I'll be spreading now Well, these are metal rivets, if they were plastic ones, you could just punch a screw or a nail through it to break it But these metal ones, you gotta like drill through them some of them are actually coming out fairly easy, others are not. My drill is a piece of crap, so I'm working at it. So uh, we'll see you after I get them all out. It's kind of a pain in the butt. And then we'll get ready to put the new one in. Oh yeah. Last bolt. All the rivets are out. Hey! Boom! Ta da! Alright! Let's go underneath the car. That's what we're dealing with. If you guys are new to the channel, Red Rock Metallic, Gloss Lime Green, Vinyl Wrap, my car is not green. Here's all the holes. I don't know which ones, these ones in the front, those ones must be drilled through. These ones in the back, I think were pre-existing. There's like a little rubber piece, a little like, uh, I don't know what you call it, a wind guard or an aerodynamic comes standard factory on the car. And you remove that when you put this splitter on but these holes in the front i don't know if it's all of them or some of them you have to drill so you just kind of take this guy and line it up under the car and then you know make some marks and drill the appropriate size hole these are like pre-drilled or whatnot and that's not paint that red there that's actually fake blood from halloween if you didn't see my halloween vlog I put blood all over the car and it didn't all come off. There's some right there, but that's not like paint or anything. So I'm going to go around and clean up all these holes. Like there's some of the rivet material and some of them get them all out and then we'll uh, maybe clean that off real quick and we'll get ready to put the new splitter on. Check it. it. Almost looks glossier compared to the old one. It's like a satin finish. Everything looks nice. So there we have it, our new piece. Let's go ahead and put it on the car. So there's all the holes. Hopefully they're in the same exact spots. Because if not, it's gonna make it hard to get these rivets back in where they drilled. It's like 30. They all appear to be in the same spot. Now, I don't know the only thing, the hardware that it came with, they only gave me 14 rivets and there's like almost 30 holes. So I don't understand that per se. Maybe you were supposed to use some like original hardware I don't know. I mean, every rivet, <clears throat> every rivet I drilled out, which was every one of them, from all these holes, um, they all were the same exact rivet. They were metal, black metal. They're they're like the same as these. So I don't know if they didn't give me enough, but I'll work in the middle and the edges, and then if we got a couple holes in the middle left over, that'll be okay. I can always pick up more rivets and put them in later. We'll just make sure that they're as snug as can be. And I said if the edges in the middle are good, and if we got like a few missing like here and here, that won't be a big deal. Here's the car without. Pretty cool. It doesn't look terrible like that, but it looks oh so much better with it on. So once again, be careful. $500 oil change mode right there. <laughs>
How about that souvenir? I'll hang it on the wall as a reminder. I gotta turn the wheel to the right. So I gotta start it real quick. All right, so what we gotta do here, underneath my very corner hole, part of the rivet is stuck in there. So I'm gonna take a couple of these T20s off. So I can fold that back. I guess these probably have to come off too. So let me do that. Now let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now we're sneaking in. And then I don't know if you can see that or not. Try to get this light up here. And there it is. Got a piece of washer, some of the rivet. Piece of the rivet sitting in the hole still. Ooh, ooh, there's another washer. I don't know if that was a different spot. So, whoa, got stuff falling everywhere. Rivet City. It's hard to see in there, but so that should be good. I'll do the same thing the other side. I'm not going to film it, so I'll just start the car, turn the wheel to the left, get in there. There's some more of that red blood, and turn the wheel to the left. Moment of truth. Wiped it up generically. Going to get the two center bolts loosely fastened. I'm just going to climb under there and get these screws in. Get the splitter right on top of my belly. All right, she's up. I'm all done. Boom, two screws. That's all you need. Yeah, right. Got a bunch of old washers here from the first set of hardware. So I might as well use it. Picked up rivet gun from Harbor Freight. And it's got adjustable. We need the 3 16 size. So I'm gonna sneak behind. Right here, and I'm gonna, it's hard to get this on camera. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I'm gonna slide a washer right over that first hole, like so. Grab our rivet, load it. I'll get up under there, make sure it's through there, and we'll set our first rivet here. Let's see how that works. Make sure I'm gonna feel in there and make sure that the rivet went through the washer. It did. It's not breaking. Oh, there it goes. Sweet, there's our first one. It took three pumps, which is okay. And when you open your rivet up, there it is. Sweet. Look at that. Like it never left, baby. Snug as a bug. So I'm gonna go ahead and go boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna time lapse it, and then we'll show you the final product. Just Out with the old. In with the new. Check it out. Get the light here. It's looking good. I know it's the same that I've always had on the car. But 
How much nicer is that when it's brand new? Got all the fasteners on there. Now I just gotta sweep up. I'm gonna put these screws back in between the wheel well there. Just the three underneath and the two on the side. And uh, yeah, that's it. So that's how you put on the T4 splitter on the Camaro. The only thing that I didn't do was drill through the car itself because it was already done when the first splitter was put on. I didn't put it on, it was put on at Camaro Fest by the ACS team. So go check out their website. Not sponsored, but I like their products. They treat their customers well, super fast shipping. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna tidy up. Hope you enjoyed. If you're looking for that T4 splitter, I'm gonna link their website down below. Fast shipping, you can get it primered or black paint. So if you get primer, you get it to match your color car. It's a pretty cool product. Unfortunately, $500 oil change here because I ran over my jack stand, but that's okay. So with that being said, if you like this video, you like the Camaro stuff that I'm making for the channel, subscribe and uh, follow along. So I'm Mooch. This is Mooch Life. Peace out.